Big Nas was a South African Durban Kwaito group and yes, Big Nas is officially no longer active. I thought I'd put you out of the misery of suspense nice and early in this video. Now before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed to Red Live, do hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Big Nas originates from Umlazi Township on the east coast of KwaZulu-Natal and was formed in 2002. Now the name Nas is said to have been chosen from the vehicle registration prefix in Umlazi. Now the three founding members of the group are Manja Mapumulo aka Mambinja, Mzi Chomela aka Danger and the late Sibusiso Komo aka Armashesha. Now once the group Big Nas was formed in 2002, the trio moved from Durban to Johannesburg in hopes of securing a record contract as well as fame and all the gold that comes from being a goal. When they got to Johannesburg in 2002, they performed on ETV. There were also reports that they had collaborated with Koloi Libone and Beatmaker. They recorded a couple of songs together. However, the songs were not released. Now, the group Big Nas would get another break in 2004 in the form of a collaboration with Kwaito artist Ishmael on the song Boom Boom. <laughs> Then two years later in 2006, Big Nas got a recording contract with Gallo Records and they soon released their debut album called Zozo. Now the album didn't do as well as expected and Gallo Records got most of the criticism as they were blamed for poor management. In 2007, the group decided to return back to Durban and they started working with DJ Dira. They released the song Uzozi Sholo Wena. Then the following year in 2008, Big Nas signed to Afrotainment record label. They released their first album with Afrotainment titled Second Round Knockout. Now the album turned out to be a huge success selling over 20,000 copies in South Africa. Now the hit track from that album was Ubala. Ubala Lolo. And this song gained a lot of traction as well as a lot of airplay. The song was nominated for Song of the Year at the 2008 South African Music Awards, The Summers. Big Nas also got to perform at the opening ceremony of The Summers. Their album, The Second Round Knockout, won the Metro FM Best Kwaito Album Award and was nominated at the 2008 Channel O Awards. Big Nas also got to perform at the former president Jacob Zuma's inauguration in 2009. Staying in 2009, Big Nas collaborated with DJ Fisherman and DJ Tira and released a third studio album titled Undisputed, which was again a huge success. The hit song from the album was Umlilo, which won the Song of the Year at the South African Music Awards. Umlilo, the Undisputed album also won the award for the best album and went on to be certified platinum. Now I'm going to put a poll in the top right of the video. I want you guys to vote which Umlilo is your favorite. Is it the one by Big Nas or is it the most recent Umlilo by DJ Zintle Mazdi and Ritabile? Getting back to the video in 2011, Big Nas released a fourth studio album titled Pound for Pound, which was a two disc album with 25 songs. Now the album won the Best Kwaito Album Award at the South African Music Awards. The album Pound for Pound went on to sell over 40,000 copies and was certified platinum. In 2013, Big Nas would release their fifth studio album titled Made in Africa and like the previous three albums, it was a huge success. It's basically copy and paste at this point. But anyways, the album Made in Africa featured the hit Inazo. I and Big Nas would perform Inazo at the 2014 MTV Africa Awards. The album Made in Africa also won the Best Kwaito Album Award at the South African Music Awards. Also, the album Made in Africa went on to sell over 40,000 copies and was certified platinum. On Friday, 7th August 2015, founding member of Big Nas, Arma Shesha, died at the age of 34 from what is reported as throat surgery complications. Now, this was the 
same day as Big Nas released a sixth studio album titled For The Fans, which again was a huge success. Now the album of course was launched in honor of Arma Shesha. The album For The Fans received the award for Best Kwaito Album and the award for Best Duo or Group of the Year at the South African Music Awards. So what happened to Big Nas? After the passing of Arma Shesha, a lot of people speculated that the album for the fans would be the last album from Big Nas. Many felt that it would be difficult for the group to continue without a third member. Some thought that perhaps maybe DJ Tira or El Vovo will possibly fill in for Arma Shesha because the two artists had reportedly filled in for Arma Shesha on occasions when he was too ill to come through and perform. But apart from that, you know, judging from the previous success that Big Nas had, a lot of people thought that it would be just a matter of time before they released another album and dominated as usual. But fast forwarding to 2016 around July, reports started surfacing that Danger was uncertain about the future of the group Big Nas as at the time Mampinja was busy with his own thing. Now Mampinja was reported to be focusing on his company West Inc and his newly signed artist Babes Wotumo. Also at this time there were also sources claiming that Mampincha was being booked to perform alone and not as Big Nas and as if all these rumors and reports were not enough in early 2018 news surfaced that Danger has launched his own record label called 108 Entertainment. Now at this time it definitely seemed like one of the biggest Kwaito groups was now hanging on by a thread that was being tugged at by reports all of a sudden claiming that Big Nas isn't happy at Afrotainment. It does seem that the Afrotainment boss DJ Tira heard this as he went on to announce that the label Afrotainment and Big Nas have officially split. He posted the following statement on Twitter. I feel like I have to say this, I have ignored these questions for too long. Where is Big Nas? When is Big Nas album coming out? Firstly, Mampincha, Danger and I, we are fine. There is no bad blood. Big Nas has a new management. So it's not DJ Tira's call to say when should Big Nas album be recorded. I'm not really sure what Danger and Mampincha's plans are for 2018. But if they want to work with DJ Tira or Afrotainment, the gates are open. Also, if there is anything they are doing individually, I will support. I would like to see all of us support each other. I would like to see the KZN music industry continue to grow you can be at your best if you are happy. So please, into umuntu wenze into echablisa All the best for 2018 and beyond. Agushe is kume ilirik. So that is the statement that was put out by DJ Tira on January the 14th of 2018. And after that, news about Big Nas definitely did go quiet. Danger went his way. Mampincha also went his way with Babes. Not that one, Babes Wotumo. Now fast forward to last year, 2019, December the 31st, we learned that Big Nas would be performing for the first time in years. Many were excited that this could mean the comeback of Big Nas. Unfortunately for all the eager fans, they were left disappointed as Big Nas did not perform on the night. Organizer of the fact Durban Rocks, DJ Tira confirmed to move that they arrive late and this is why they could no longer perform at the event. Well hopefully once the current lockdown restrictions are over the highly successful Kwaito group Big Nas does find its way out of retirement and just like that we have come to the end of today's video. Now if you do have any what happened to videos that you'd like to request do get in the comments down below and let me know and if you enjoyed the video you know what to do by now give it a huge thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to real live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos